text messaging. There's just something about the speed and simplicity, but that speed and simplicity can be deceiving when you get behind the wheel. 20-year-old Emmy sent this text message to her boyfriend. I love you too, and I'll try to make you happy. Moments later, Emmy was killed when her car slammed into the back of a tractor trailer. 18-year-old Taylor was also texting when her car slammed into a truck at 80 miles per hour. Her final text? Driving and Facebooking is not safe. Ha ha. You probably think that these things could never happen to you. You're not alone. 55% of young adult drivers say it's easy to text and drive. Three quarters of the same young adult drivers feel confident that they are really good at texting behind the wheel. The reality is they are all delusional, and so are you. Drivers who text spend about 10% of their driving time outside their own driving lanes. That quick look at your phone takes longer than you think, five seconds or longer. If that doesn't sound like much, imagine you're driving down the road and someone covers your eyes for five quick seconds, like this. You'd probably feel very lucky if you didn't crash, but you choose to take your eyes off the road just like that every time you read or send a text. Texting and driving has now become the leading cause of teen driver death, surpassing even drinking and driving. But if you think dying in a car crash is the worst thing that can happen to you, it's not. You could survive after you kill someone else. Imagine spending the rest of your life knowing you killed someone for a text message. Now imagine knowing you killed someone for a text message while you're in prison, because that's what's starting to happen all over the country. Still think it will never happen to you? Still think you're the special one? That's what Aaron thought right before he killed a father of three. Aaron is one of a growing number of texting drivers who are going to jail. There's another growing group of young people that you should be a part of, ones who have pledged not to text when they drive. Leave your cell phone alone when you're driving. If you absolutely must send a text, pull off the road or into a parking lot, anywhere it is safe to use your phone. No text is so important that it's worth your life or someone else's. You aren't different, you aren't special, you're just another accident waiting to happen. Don't text and drive.